morning guys, we are from group 5. So today we are doing experiment 5 which is called simulation. So from this experiment, we will, uh, we will find that how uh, different flow rate affect uh, the gravitation forming inside the machine. Yeah. So uh, with, with this, we will with this, we will reduce the pressure and the true pressure. With this reading, we will use Bernoulli principle to find the resistance coefficient uh, of the battery. So this is our equipment for our experiment. The first equipment, uh, this is the water tank, which is temperature. This is the centrifugal pump. And this is the rotor meter to read the flow rate. This is the power button to on and off the equipment. This is the control valve to regulate the flow rate. This is the venturing meter to observe the cavitation effect. This is the inlet pressure. And this is the throat pressure. To start this experiment, you have to make sure this one turn off the flow rate, turning clockwise to make sure it is closed. Next, then we will start this machine, this equipment. First, you have to uh, switch on this on button with some energy. As we open the valve, so we need to open it and be clockwise to control the flow rate. So then we can uh, measure the rotameter here. So as you as you turn the flow rate, the, the, then you can observe this. You can control this flow rate to your desired value. For example, you want to make it like one thousand liter per hour. So you have to move up a bit and slightly lower a bit lower a bit more a bit more so you can get 1000 as your flow rate at 1000 liter per hour you can observe your cavitation effect at the venturing meter where you can see the bubble is formed here next you have to record the reading for the inlet pressure and the truck pressure for your calculation later experiment by measuring the flow rate 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500 and 3000. After you finish from 1000 and then 3000 liter per hour, now you have to repeat the whole thing again and record the pressure, low pressure again for another two times to get the average value. After finish on these three times, now you can off the equipment. With this free average, uh, with this average value, we can obtain the resistance coefficient through the Bernoulli principle.